morning folks scott here at watchway farms thanks for joining me on this beautiful sunday morning here on the farm we do a quick little video today we moved the pigs yesterday and i kind of want to show y'all i think y'all if you've been following along you probably saw the video where this batch of piglets started uh we moved them yesterday and i'm about to go in and kind of brush hog the remnants of what's left of where they're at but i thought i would show y'all first what all it looks like if you're if you're considering pigs for what well, the reason we do we raise pigs not only for obviously their meat and you know for our families and our local community but also for the kind of regenerative um ability that they have here on a farm we put them to work uh clearing out some of the some of the overgrown areas of our farm let me show you so here is a quick look of where we moved them to yesterday. You can see how thick and overgrown it is. You know, they still get their free choice feed. Here's a few of them enjoying um, what, it, what I filled it up yesterday. It was empty when we moved it. And again, they'll be here in two or three weeks. There's the water down there. You can see the gate. Oh, uh, there, that's for the, where they're going next. Now, around the other side of that gate is a pond, so they will not go there. They'll go back, I guess, here to this area, which is where I've had pigs before, but they're gonna go back there uh, next. And now here is the area they were just at. I mean, look, I can walk all through here if I wanted. That's where they are now. And then to give you an idea, just walking through, which it's still, it's kind of thick through here. You can't really see into it, but it's the underbrush, uh, the down low stuff that was all cleared. And then if you look at this, I mean, my gosh, I could, you couldn't walk through here uh, when we first put them in here. And so they have now 100% cleared this up and made it such that I feel comfortable now coming through here with, uh, with the brush hog. I mean, this land, I know most of my land pretty well, but start get down here in these soupy areas of the farm and, you know, there's certain spots that you clearly don't want to do, but as you can see, I can get in here real nice, but what they've uncovered, which I knew was here, was the beginning of, I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but this little creek, there's a, it's spring fed, so right in this general area somewhere the water seeps up year round of course if you look around obviously i'm at the, one of the lowest spots in this area so everything is going to flow down here as well but even in periods of no rain this little i guess creek is always bubbling up you can't really see but it's bubbling up right through there and what this does is this drains all the way down to that pond I was just showing you. So we're gonna get the rest of this wire from yesterday's uh, move up and then we'll get here in a brush hog and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so check it out. This area went from looking like this to looking like this. How cool is that? So the pigs were in here. I mean, literally, I mean, I just, right there on the other side of those feeders is where they're at now. And this is where they were. I said they were in here for, I don't know, two, three weeks, maybe. Uh-oh, maybe a month. I don't remember. Their little piglet training pen was about right there. If you see that old video of when I brought them to the farm and they cleared all this out. And then I got in here with the brush hog and cleared it out more. Now this little spot right in this area, I actually just went through that real quick with a brush hack because that was too soupy for my brush hog at Creek. Well, it runs in there is a little bit too much for drop off. So anyway, I'm pretty impressed with this. I hope maybe you think it's kind of interesting as well i mean if you're thinking about getting into regenerative farming using the land or using animals to kind of renew your land this is kind of proof that 
it can be done. Like I said, just a 10 pigs and a few weeks and a little bit of poly braid and this is it. Now I will come back in. I'll probably let all this that I cut die off for a week or so. And then I'll come in and disturb the ground a little bit. Um, I got a new attachment for my ATV on order that I'll probably do a video and show you all. And then I will oversee this area with some rye and some clover. Maybe that'll take, um, take hold before uh, the weeds come back. And then hopefully the pigs won't be back here. My hope is that this will be We'll kind of grass over, except for the little creek down the middle. And either I'm going to run, just let their cows run in here, or I may fence this whole thing off and eventually use it for something else. We shall see. So anyway, if you found this interesting, love a thumbs up, a couple comments. As always, I welcome new subscribers. So let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.